Hell yeah, man. What's good, Jay? What's up? <laughs> What's up? Yeah, man. Thanks for reaching out, man. What you got going on? Man, just I'm really trying to build out what you got going on. Um, right now, I actually work full time for a digital marketing agency. Are you serious? And, yeah. Uh, I took a course like a few years ago. Yeah, yeah. I think I paid, I paid like $100 for it. I actually bought it on my birthday. And um, you a young cat. Time. How old are you? Like 27. Damn, man. You still see you still young, man. <laughs> That, that's what's up. That's what's up. Okay, so you're, so okay, so you're learning. You're learning, right? You're getting courses. Yeah. At, so I bought, I bought that course, and then that landed me from working in the office, and now I work from home full time, doing Google yeah. ads. You're doing Google ads, man. Yeah. So like on the actual right, like on on the actual Google page, right? Or or are you or are you referring to like YouTube ads as well? Uh, just Google Ads, just text text Make ads for um for car dealerships across the U.S. Are you serious? That that's your actual job, or that's your business? That's my job. Like, so you get paid an hourly or a salary or whatever from an actual employer? Yeah, just uh, I get paid salary. Dude, that's what's up, man. Yeah. That's what's up, dude. That and that's one thing that I I've yet to crack. Like, only because I never really I never really learned it. I never looked into it as far as Google Ads you know, PPC or even YouTube ads, YouTube ads is what I want to crack this year. Um, oh man. It's, but, it's good. but right. YouTube ads is crazy, right? Yeah. I, um, I ran it for about a week cause I use like their, their, um, voucher that they give out. You just put up 50 and they give you a hundred dollars uh, credit. And I ran like a simple little video ad to like my, uh, local area saying, Hey, business owners, um, are you looking to grow your business online? I can do this and this and this for you. And I got like seven, seven calls that week. No way. And so, and, and how long ago did you do that? When did you do that? Uh, it had to be like a few months ago, probably like two months ago. And that, and that, and you were running that to test that for yourself or for, mm -hmm. for another business? Just for me. Damn dude. And for those of you on YouTube, man, that, that are going to be catching this video, Jay, Dude, how did you even find me? Was it on YouTube? Yeah, um, I was just typing in different strategies for Facebook because I'm trying to get into Facebook, and uh, I, somehow you, I landed on your on your um your channel, and I just I couldn't stop watching. <laughs> how how long ago was that? Uh, probably like last month. See that that's a crazy thing, Jay. Like you could be like YouTube is 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 a hustle just like everything else, right? Yeah. But I I just truly believe in the in the in the long form video content as far as like yeah. teaching and, and letting it letting it live here. Like letting it live on yeah. YouTube because people went will end up finding you a month later, a couple months later, a couple years later. Yeah, because like your shit's out there and, and people are able to find you. And right. you're and on top of it all, they're sending you a few bucks every month. Right. That's once what your channel get. gets monetized, you know? Yeah, I'm trying to get to that monetize. Oh, oh, you'll get there. You'll get there. You'll get there. So shout out to Jay, man. Shout out to Jay for, for finding me. And then you started reaching out and then you started commenting on a few of my videos. And that's why, man, anyone that anyone anyone that wants to just mastermind and strategize and see how in the hell can we both win? You know what I mean? And anyone that that yeah. that, that I come across like that that's genuine like yourself, I'm like, hell yeah, dude. And then and then as you can see here, what I'm doing with it is recording it turning it into content and putting it up, put, putting it up, you know what I mean? And, yeah. and that's, and that's all it is, man. It's, is finding that one little, that little niche that you could, you could talk about it and that becomes your content. You know what I mean? Right. So I, I've, I've just been around people like you creating it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Cause I've had like two, I've used your strategy as far as uh, reaching out to like different real estate agents. And I was like, you know what, let me just pick up the phone and call somebody. Cause I, yeah. I was scrolling on Facebook <laughs> And a lady, she had an ad, but it was like terrible. I don't say it was terrible, but it, obviously she wasn't getting a lot of traction. And so I just tapped into the ad, went to her Facebook page, found a number, and I just called her and said, hey, um, wow. let me set up. I was calling to set up a quick meeting for you. I do a social media strategies for um, real estate agents. She said, yeah, I'm interested because obviously she's already testing out ads. So I got on the call, did the five-step um, presentation with her and I landed her for another 500 um, 500 a month 
Wow. Wow. And so, and so you're going to be obviously optimizing her pages and, and, and getting yeah. her like count up and, and maybe mm-hmm. even, and, 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 and running ads, obviously, right. Running ads right. And, and depending on if you want to take it to the next level, which is actually managing their, their software. If you're running ads to landing pages, for example, you know yeah. what I mean? If you're capturing, capturing leads, that's a whole nother part of your service that you can, you can even upsell in a way where it's like, Hey man, not only am I going to run these ads for you, but I'm going to also manage your software. Mm-hmm. And, right. and, and so that, that opens up a whole nother income stream where you can just kind of, you know, up the price of what, you know, someone's paying, you know what I mean? Yeah. But, um, so that's what you've been doing. That's what you've been yeah. doing. Cause I'm actually thinking about getting Carter as well. Cause they she uses some type of software that her broker gives her, but yeah, it's yeah, like yeah. horrible. Yeah, yeah. Every every real estate, every legit, you know, not legit, but every like um just like kind of like 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 nationwide brand, like a Keller Williams, like a Coldwell Bank, mm-hmm. or like a like a um uh, like an EXP, any of these like mainstream um um popular brands like companies most of them provide some type of website to their agents and and it's yeah. the same replicated website it's the same damn website that has beautiful websites beautiful websites yeah. there's no anything nice. going on they look awesome right but they're just not for lead capture they're, they're just not for direct response marketing you know what i mean so and and that's mm-hmm. all they're trying to do all a business owner is is trying to do no matter if you're a dentist or a freaking real estate agent it doesn't matter you're looking to capture a lead Bottom line, bottom line, bottom line, car, whether you're a car dealer, you're looking to sell a car. Yeah. So it's, it's always that conversion that people are looking for. And it's like, dude, the basic landing page is all you need. Like it's all you need. That's why sometimes I'll show people, I'll show my clients mm-hmm. Kartra, and sometimes it, it could look too, too boring to them because yeah. one page they want everything. and one button and and they're used to seeing a million different things, 15 right. listings on their homepage, like all this crap, right? And I'm like, dude, that's just for informational purposes. If you're trying to capture a lead, which is all you're trying to freaking do, this is what we're going to need. You know, this is what we're going to need, Kartra. And, and, and because I'm going to run these Facebook ads, I also want to manage it. I'll also manage it for you. I'll create these landing pages. I'll right. have these funnels up in place. I'll make sure that the leads that are coming in are, are, are on this email automation or on these mm-hmm. or, 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 or on this sequence, you know, or are these sequences, I'll make sure that these leads are on or in these sequences and make sure that, 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 that shit's going well for you as well. So yeah. you're like the whole machine dude for, for any business owner, man. That's why it's a real estate agent, Try. a freaking yoga instructor, a gym owner, whatever, dude, it's the same flow. It's the same flow. Facebook ad landing page, email automation, or it's going to be some type of, of messenger bot right? You could be, yeah. you could, you could, you could tie that into it, but it's still the automation. It's, it's, it's one, two, three, Facebook ad, landing page, automation, right. however you want that automation to be. Okay. Whatever. It's the same shit. Text automation. You want it to be an email automation. You want it to be a many chat automation, same shit. Right. right. And, and, and every, every business owner, it, it starts with a free offer. So if you, if you're a real estate agent and you can give away a seller guide or you can give away a free buyer guide, that's right. your bait that that's the top of the funnel and that's why a lot of business owners especially real estate agents it's like dude they want to run one ad and they want a lead to come in by 5 p.m mm-hmm. it's like shit dude the audience doesn't even know you yet like let's <laughs> warm up your backyard All, although you've been living there for 55 years and you think you know everyone stacy i'm here to tell you you don't i'm out here in san right. diego where there's three million people i've been here my entire life i don't even know my neighbors <laughs> so it's like for people, it's so funny because, you know, you, they'll, they'll bring up their Facebook page, their personal page. They have like yeah, 1,200 okay. friends on their, <laughs> on their Facebook personal page and they'll claim they know everyone. I'm like, no, you right. don't. I'm like, I'm nah. your friend on Facebook. I live in California. You're out there in Georgia. You're, you're claiming that you just accept people you know on Facebook. No, you don't. How, how, how'd you accept me? Mm-hmm. So it's like when you look at someone's friend list, it's like, dude, 95% of those people live across the country. Your entire backyard, although you've been living there forever, not everyone knows you. So it's like, dude, you want to you want to run a few different ads, and and it's like you want to run video specifically because there's nothing like it. There's no branding right. effect like a video, you know. And I talk about this on my YouTube channel all the time. I'm like, dude, the only reason why you guys are here is because of my freaking damn video. <laughs> if I was writing this shit in a blog, none of you guys would be reading that damn thing. 
No. Like we're you're here because you're you're finding me on YouTube and it's all video form. Same shit with every other platform. It's video form. If you if you could put out video form, you roll that out, get that get that branding effect, get that whole entire local area freaking indoctrinated with what you're dropping. Your message, yeah. right? You're a real estate agent, start talking about the selling process. Start educating your community on what the hell it takes to sell their property. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? I tell it to, I tell it because I follow actually. thousands of agents. I'm like, dude, stop talking about how good you are. Stop posting that Louis Vuitton bag. Stop posting that freaking 550 BM or, or Benz. No one needs to see your flashy stuff. No one cares about that. Educate me. Teach me something I don't already know and turn that into video form and turn that into a Facebook ad and right. run that to your local area every single freaking day. And that's what I want to do for you. I also want to take them to this landing page, which is this Karcher page that I'm going to manage for you because this is what's necessary. I need them to click here to go here to enter their damn information because that's all you want at the end of the day. It's simple, man. You know what I mean? In real sense. But most, but most don't, most still don't get it. But that's the beauty is that they're they're not they're not meant to get it. That's why Jay's here. Jay yeah. gets it. Jay gets I'm it. Actually, I'm actually going to test out like doing it on the Google side as well. Bro, like, isn't that more expensive though? Is 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 Google P? It's it's PP. It's PPC, right? Yeah, it's yeah, yeah. Isn't that shit expensive? No, not really. Bro, uh, you gotta help on, me out with that. You gotta help if, me out with that. If you're, let me put it this way: if you're local, like, just pull out your phone. If you type in um, "real estate agent near me," nine times out of ten, there's gonna be nobody up there. Probably in your area, but where I'm at, no. Where are you at? Nobody. Where are you at? I'm in Mississippi. You're in Mississippi? Yeah. Wow, Jay, look how, how crazy the social media is, man. Like, this whole YouTube thing, the fact yeah. that some dude out there in Mississippi found some cat out here in San Diego, like, what the heck? <laughs> like, ain't that crazy, bro? Like, that's absolutely amazing. I don't, I don't know one person in Mississippi, man. <laughs> I never been to Mississippi. I don't know what it looks like. All I hear about is the negative shit from the past. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's mm-hmm. all I, when I hear Mississippi, that's all I think about, man, is segregation, yeah. right? Thinking that it's that way, you know what I mean? Like people out here, on, you know, shit, man. That, yeah. Shout it's, out to Jay, man. Shout out to Jay. If I'm on I'll, Google and I type in real estate agent. Near me. Near, does it have to be near me or can I just type in real estate agent? You can type in real estate agent. Usually I would say real estate agent near me or real estate agent the city name yeah there, Where, there's ads there's ads but they're they're definitely like there's not like a specific person there's right? not a specific person hell no they're brands or companies they're big right. freaking like zillow or realtor.com like they're big big you know brands that's so, who takes up yeah for sure on real estate on google searches that's who takes it up but if let's say if they're actually trying to find a person there and they and they search that and they see you can so say, you can do that, Jay. Yeah, no, and I'm then telling. once they once they hit the landing page, because they're already at the at the end of the funnel if they're searching for it versus just seeing it on your Facebook feed or whatnot. So they're already at the end. They're just looking for somebody to help them buy or sell their house. Of course, that Google search is powerful, man. I never I never understood it. I never really looked into it. Um, but yeah, bro, I'm telling you, if that, so you've been doing that, that's, that's pretty much your full-time gig is, is yeah. it's Google ads. Yeah. Yeah. So then what, 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 what kind of clients is this company that you work for? Like, what is, what are they trying to do? Are they, show, are they closing every type of business? What do you, you're, what do um, you, are you focused on one type of business? So they're, they're, um, it's like an overall marketing agency. It's yes. me and, um, I think four other pay search analysts that's what they call it Mm -hmm. and uh, we all do google ads and we all get a set number of um, automotive clients and so we have our you got to do it for Mm -hmm. gotcha gotcha we have a guy he just flies all over the u.s and do presentations to um, dealership owners and if they opt in that's another uh, account and whoever whoever has the least amount of accounts that's who that um dealership got goes to got it got it got it dude that's an operation right there for sure that mm-hmm. that's amazing dude that's amazing amazing so then y- you've been around that for what for the past year yeah i've been well less than a year but less than a year it's, it's getting there so so on the side of that that's what you're trying to find you're trying to find that hustle yeah 
right? Or, or, or did you find it? Did you find it with agents? Did you find it with, with providing social media services to them? Like, did you find it or, or you're still searching? I'm still searching. I mean, I, I still, I use Upwork to find new clients. And uh, luckily, I think this, I don't know, when I um, actually applied for an Upwork position for a, somebody that was doing, um, that needed their uh, conversion tracking set up on their Google um, account. And so the lady was actually a realtor. And then mm -hmm. I think that's when I actually started searching for different strategies on Facebook, I mean, on YouTube for realtor strategies and then you popped up. That's how I found you. And then I pitched her your steps and she's like, yeah, I'll buy, I'll buy it. And I was like, oh. See, man, those those basic steps, I truly believe are for are for any business, right? You you yeah. can, I mean, you, right? I, I actually used it for my, for myself, for my Facebook page. I think I was like at right? 200 and some likes. But did you run that out the right way though? How'd you know how to run that out the right way? Um. I researched it. Okay. So you're targeting uh, worldwide? Yeah, I targeted worldwide to everybody that's uh, interested in marketing. So then you should be getting you should your your numbers should be at at point 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 oh one point oh one point oh two. Yeah. One one cent of, of so you, broke, you got it. You got it. You got it. <laughs> you got it. I'll do that for a client. I'll turn off their notifications so they're not freaking blasted, right? Because yeah, I'm doing that for a client and bringing in three, four, five thousand likes mm -hmm. and charging them for that, bro. Like charging them for that, and then and yeah. then and then simple social media optimization, and and then just teaching them some basics, which is step three. Teaching them some basics on starting that Facebook ad campaign. First one right. I want you to do is introduce yourself. As I was saying a few minutes ago. I've been out here forever. You may have been in your local area forever. You still mm -hmm. don't know everyone. So, so my whole step three was just basically, hey man, introduce yourself. Let's start doing these simple Facebook video ads. And again, that applies to any business. And then, and then if we're gonna start doing these Facebook ads, whether it's an image or a video, doesn't even matter. Even if you started doing Instagram ads, or even if you started doing YouTube ads, because as these business owners know, that's where they have to be. They just don't know anything about it. But as they start doing that, okay, Mr. Business Owner, as people start to see your ad, which is step three, they start to click right. on learn more. Now we have to take them to a landing page, which is what I call step four. And, and, and then when this lead opts in and to get your offer or whatever we're promoting, our free buyer guide, now mm -hmm. that lead needs to be nurtured through an email autoresponder. That's what I call right. step five. And so, yes. yeah, man, I started literally pitching that back in 2017 back in 2017 because i just took a, a a bird's eye view and i'm like man wait a minute all these people are missing the basics like this basic ass shit to someone like you it's super stupid and basic but to to the average business owner th they they know they need that they just don't know it's they just don't they just don't know how to do it like it's like a it's, it's a low ticket offer that it's, they it's such refuse. a low ticket offer but but allows you to still eat you know what i mean right if, if you're doing it right, which you should be, your profit margin on, on let's just say that, on that $500 deal, on that $500 deal, your profit should be at least a minimum of, of $450. Right. When you're doing it right. So when you're pitching that $500 the right way, it's really just, it's really just step one, step two, and, and, and not even really step three. It, it's me telling you what step three, four, and five is next. I'm going to talk to you in two weeks. I'm going to send you an email. You're going to get a chance to schedule an appointment. I want to talk to you in two weeks regarding three, four, and five. Yeah. But right so, now, I'm going to just knock out step one and two. You know what I mean? And 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 500 minimum is what you know what I mean. So it's like yeah. that's what I've been I, doing. I had like a, a question about like the pricing because like my first, I am, I am closing two real estate agents this week. So um, one, she wanted to do all five steps, so I charged her 500. But the other one, she but see, wanted. But see, with that one real quick, with that one real quick, let's break that down. So then are you setting up a Karcher account for her? Well, it looks like I am because I can't, I can't really do the email automation or autoresponder through her, through her um, real estate website or whatever she has. Yeah, like she has some random website that she's probably thinking she's going to use to run ads with when, when that's not the page. Um, yeah. 
And so really to, that's why that's why it's really step one and two, I'm in, I'm out. And step three, four, and five normally only comes to those who are serious. So that's really not an upfront. That's really not 500 for five steps. It's really 500 for step one and two. Because, oh, okay. because, because with step three, four, and five, what, what's her name? What was, what was the agent's name? Oh, uh, Lori. You tell Lori, say Lori. To tell you the truth, you don't need landing pages right now. You ain't going to need a Kartra account right now because that's only really necessary when we start running Facebook ads. So when we re right now, all I'm going to do is get this like count up. I'm going to go optimize your page. I might even update your Google as a special little bonus because I got some Google game as well. So right. I'm going to look at your Google profile as, as just an extra bonus. But Lori, you're going to owe me a good review. So make sure you, you oh, remember. Yeah. I definitely right? do that. Make sure you're going to get, make sure you, you're going to owe me a good review because I'm going to do all this stuff for you. But when we go into consistent daily Facebook ads, because I'm telling you what step three is. Step three, part one of step three, I want you to introduce yourself. I want you to pull out your phone. You're the local realtor. I want you to pull out your phone and freaking tell us who the hell you are. Your background, your experience, your passion, your family, you know, how long you've been with your broker, why you're with your broker, you know, what, 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 what makes you love your city and real estate and helping people buy and sell property? What makes that a passion? Like, tell us who the heck you are. Right. And, 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 and that's what I, that's what I tell them to do. But, but, but that's, that's step three, four, that's step three. And I say, look, you're only going to need Karcher or, or click funnels or any other type of landing page software if we start to really consistently roll those ones out. If we really go on a step three and I start running these ads for you every day to start capturing leads, whether it's a video or not, if I'm going to start running ads for you every day, which is step three, then we'll need landing pages. But until then, we're not going to need that right now because all I want to do for you first is step one and two. So I tell them, I, that's just how I, how I do it. You can spin it however yeah. the heck you want, but, but that's what allowed me to bring in multiple five figure deals every single week, yeah. you know, wh whether, whether it's a $1,500 a week or, or a $2,000 week, that was all from that upfront where I right. haven't even taken on the responsibility. Cause it also it's a responsibility to manage accounts. Like that's not, yeah, if you're, if you're going to, if you're telling me, okay, shit, I'm going to manage this. This is my client. This is my deal. Right. It's like, dang dude. Okay. Good luck. Try doing 10 of those. Like, it's not easy. You got clients calling you all the time, dude. Yes. Like, it's not, it's not, a, a nice, <laughs> that's why what I'm doing is I'm scaling my knowledge into a course. Mm -hmm. So I've been doing this since 2016 with these agents. Now I'm to the point where I'm like, dude, I'm going to just teach you how to do it yourself. And that's what I want to sell. I want to sell you my knowledge. Because I'm thinking because, about building out a course myself. Yeah, man. And, and that, that's why with you, now you got this Google, you know, experience that right there, that right there is its own product line. You can reach out to every agent in the country and sell them first page of Google. And, and they'll all, they'll all give you 500 for sure to put them on the first page. You can forget about, you can optimize their social media, optimize their Google profile and get them on page one. That's it. And, and, and I could take 500 all day from agents on uh, from any business owner. I'm going to optimize your social media because every platform is mix match and it looks like shit. I'm going to take that like count up because your 300, your 300 likes is just hurting your credibility. And I'm going to optimize your Google profile and get you on page one. Mm -hmm. That's it. That's it. That's, that's it. Easy. Like, like, and that's without even Jay having to know about Facebook ads right now. Cause we ain't there, Lori, we ain't there yet. Let me do all this stuff first. Then we'll go on to that part. And that's when you'll need Kartra because again, it's only if you really plan on running consistent ads where a landing page software is necessary. Right. And, and I'm telling you through this lead capture process, I want you to, to get your hands on a free buyer guide or a free seller guide, because that's going to be the bait. Mm -hmm. That's how we're going to, we're going to, we're going to use that to give that away. We want to brand yourself in your local area and give out something of value. You know what I mean? And, and again, yeah. that can apply to a car dealer that could apply to any businessman. Everyone has an offer. Give me a seven day pass to attend your yoga studio. And I'm there. You know what I mean? Every business has an offer. You're a dentist. Give me a freaking, give me, give me an offer on a free teeth cleaning. And I'm there. I'll click, I'll click, learn more. I'll give up my name and email. You're three miles mm -hmm. away from me. I'll call and register now and book my appointment. Like take me through that simple two-step process, which is a landing page and, and get in front of my face. You know what I mean? But even before, before all that, dude, you have the knowledge, Jay, that, that most don't. Like, I don't know about Google. If, yeah. if you can get me on page one and, and, and you're telling me, you know, you can, you can add these other benefits, like, dude, 
I'll give you 500. Like, you know what I mean? And before you know it, that could be a, that could be a, a, a good income for you, man. A, yeah, a really good income. You know, <laughs> just these two clients alone was just the, uh, See, uh, here, here's uh, what you do now jay here's what you do now and, and i'm telling you this from experience and from game i got game on on this but also the experience since 2016 i've literally literally lived in the dm like i lived in the dm i lived in the dm yeah. facebook specifically i lived in the dm i've gotten every client i've closed hundreds of real estate clients i can show you my stripe account in fact i have youtube videos showing my stripe account so you could for sure pull that one up yeah. right? where I closed a few hundred for the year or whatever, but it was all on that. It was all on that, dude. It was all on that. It was all on that. And, um, and what was I going to say about that? I was going to freaking say something. I was on it. Oh, I just lost I've, my train of thought. I've tried that, but this like the, the response oh, yeah, oh, rate is all low. Here's what I was going to tell you. Here's what I was going to tell you. Here's what I was going to tell you. Since 2016, I've gotten hundreds of people in the DM that way. Right. Had mm -hmm. I known, had I known a different strategy, I would have implemented that on week one. So on week one in 2016, 2017, it was really 2017. Week one, I would have gotten that, that, that those, those first two clients, right? I would have gotten those first two clients. I would have gotten the results for those two clients. I would have recorded it. I would have documented it. I would have taken that video and ran an ad targeting agents saying, Hey man, here's what I was able to do for these clients. Allow me to do it for you. Click the learn more. It'll take you straight to my calendar. I'd love to offer you a free strategy call where I can walk you through via screen share and show you exactly what I was able to do for these other two agents. That first, Man. you get the first two, you get the first two client clients results. You record what the hell you did. That becomes your Facebook video ad. You take them to a simple landing page where they can book an appointment. That's it. That is it. That is it. Had I known that in 2017, I would have, I would have, I would have probably been way further. What I, what I, what I did not do is I did not do that. I just yeah. kept DMing. So I kept because, DMing. So I well. kept relying on my freaking thumbs to get me that next appointment. And guess what? I got pretty damn good at it. But guess yeah, what? Yeah. But but guess what? It's also hella time consuming. If I ain't messaging, I tell my wife all the time, man. I'm like, dude, babe, I gotta work. If I'm not messaging appointments aren't being booked the same thing i say i was like baby right? i'm working i'm like don't and, and it's like i'm gonna keep it real with you jay i'm gonna keep it real it was a struggle for my wife and i in the beginning man when when her and i first got together i've known her for 20 plus years but we got together back in 20 2016 2016 mm -hmm. 2016 when i'm freaking trying to build this shit right i'm i'm starting to learn about Facebook ads. And I'm like, damn, I could start bringing this shit to the marketplace. Right. I'm 2016, 2017. I'm getting the hang of what the hell I'm doing. But, but to, to the average person, when you look at someone and they're on their cell phone all damn day, you're thinking they're just bullshitting, right? You're thinking they're mm -hmm. just on IG looking at different chicks or whatever. Right. People just assume, and she just thinks I'm just on my phone bullshit. And I'm like, baby, right. this is working. no, this is what work looks like. Like this is, this is modern yeah. work nowadays. Like people are on their cell phones, getting money. Bottom line. When I'm, when I'm on my cell phone, I'm like filling out like job postings on Upwork every day. You're, you're, you're getting, and I get like, I get like a couple hits and then it's money coming in. We get money on our cell phone. And so that's what I lived by and that's what I did. And that's what I continue to do to tell you the truth because it's so easy for me. And as long as I delegate a few hours a day and make sure and I treat it like work, like I'm actually clocking in. And if I don't clock in, I'll get ridden up. And if I get ridden up, I'll get fired. I, I take it that seriously. So I make sure that I'm, I'm, I'm in the DM and I make sure that those appointments are, are, are booked. But my point is, dude, is that had I known that what I just told you, mm -hmm. document what the hell you did for these other people and run it as a Facebook ad and target that that group and get yeah. them to schedule appointments with you. When so, when when Billy Jean, do you follow Billy Jean? Yeah, I actually bought his course last night. Yeah, I got I got a I got a few of his courses, but that shout out to Billy Jean. I live I live about 10 minutes away from him. I don't know him. I don't know him at all. Yeah. <laughs> but we're from the same same area, San Diego. Yeah. Out here. I'm not meeting him now. But but in his in his course, <laughs> in his course, that's what he teaches. That's yeah. what he teaches in his Facebook ads course on his agency course or whatever. Is 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 get the result for the client and then that becomes your ad. That becomes your bait. And you you mm -hmm. you capture more clients with that. 
right. know, so that's my biggest advice for you, man, is, is get some results for a client and, and, and run ads on that to get people to schedule appointments. And, and, and that's what I am literally about to do right now, because to tell you the truth, I think I just got my first freaking um, gel time, my first freaking lockup or whatever the hell they call it. I think I'm in Facebook gel for the very first time. Like I am locked out of my account. You do? Like, like, I'm locked, like, look, look, dude, look, if I go to my, this is a different, this is actually a client's account that I'm logged into right here, but let me log out. This is Deborah. This is her account. This is a client that I'm working on running different ads, but let me log out this morning, dude. I got freaking banned for the very first time and I'm trying to be patient. I got ads that are running. It's like shit, dude. Like clients are hitting me up. Like I got shit going on. I need to be in this. And, and here's the thing, dude, when you're relying on direct messaging, okay, what if finally, dude, I'm telling you, Facebook forever didn't, didn't, didn't ban me. They didn't mark my messages as spam. I do it all on my cell phone. So I think the tracking on the cell phone is a little different. Okay. And, and although I am copy and pasting and I am messaging a lot per day, they finally, I think they finally look. So when I try to log in, you can't Ooh. use Facebook right now. Have you called them? Dude, I can't even find their freaking number, dude. I can't even, I have like a Facebook rep, which I'm about to, I'm about, I'm about to email, but I know those yeah. reps change positions within Facebook a lot. So mm -hmm. it might not even be the same rep and my email may not even get, you know, answered, but I, I looked everywhere on how I can, you know, uh, submit a support ticket and I freaking couldn't find it, dude. But it's like, this is the type of shit that happens from direct messaging years later. Like literally we're in 2020. I've been yeah. direct messaging since 2016. So now it's so, time to run those, those so video ads right, on YouTube. That's why, Jay, like I'm going to keep it real. Now I'm to the point where it's like if I want to keep getting these types of clients, then yeah, step it up. And Because I haven't had to run Facebook ads. I haven't had to run an ad to find that client. I hit them in the DM. Yeah. Message A couple messages and boom, we have an appointment scheduled for tomorrow. And, and at the same time, it's not like I can really handle 10 appointments a day. So, so the few that I'm able to get per day, mm -hmm. I'm able to manage that three, four appointments a day, five days a week. I'm able to manage that and not go insane. And, and, and at the same time, I'm able to, to close on that where it makes me a good income. And I'm able to fulfill on that because it's not like it's a ton. Right. But at the same time, that upfront money made at least 1500 for the week. And that's just up front with just, just running one ad. That's the like ad. We haven't even got to step three yet, Mr. Business Owner. No, you don't need Cartree yet because we're not on step three just yet. But the moment we get to step three, that's when it's no longer one time 500. That's when we're going into more like a thousand a month. So be, be ready for that. You're going to get an email in two weeks. Click, click the link, schedule an appointment. I cannot wait to speak to you. In the meantime, I'm going to get busy on this and message me if you need anything. I'll email you a confirmation, a receipt for the transaction. Have a great day. You know what I mean? And, and, and it's like that. And, and, and it's, through, it's your email automation, man. That's why you do need Kartra or you need some type of email autoresponder because, because as you onboard these clients, whatever you're providing, man, Google, whatever. But as you're building this on your own on the side and as you, as you start to onboard these clients, these clients need to be in an email autoresponder receiving emails from you periodically. And so, every list is different. This is one specific list. These are my clients. Mm. So, so, so that's why in the email autoresponder, I'm, I'm onboarding them right now. I just took their credit card, 500, 600, a thousand, whatever, 3000, whatever. I just took their credit card. I just onboarded them. Now their lead is in my CRM, my Kartra, my email autoresponder. The way I have mine set up is a handful of emails that, that are strategically placed to go out to them over the next 30 days. And so that's why on that first initial phone call, I'm saying, dude, this is all in one time. This is a one-time like ad. This is not an ad we're gonna run every month at all. All I wanna do is just give it some, give it some, get, some, get, get this page active. I want people to come here and see 1,700 likes. You know what I mean? I wanna add these links and get everything optimized, right? Um, I wanna do that first before we even get to that next step. But when we do get there, John, I'm gonna tell you, man, you need a budget. You know, that's when we're going 1500 a month, 2000 a month. That's when I really want to start crushing it and, 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 and capturing local leads. This like ad, and I always tell them, I say, this like ad is going to target everyone. 
So it's not a lead ad. This is just to take us from the 400 likes to the 4,000 quick. So I'm going to run, I don't tell them worldwide. I don't tell them anything like that. I just say, Hey, I'm going to run it to everyone on Facebook because that's literally what it is. Yeah. That's what I told mine. I, I tell them it that way. I'm going to run it to everyone on Facebook. I'm going to, I'm going to um, target people who are interested in real estate or interested in home ownership. And I can always exclude realtors if needed. Um, I'll tell it to them like that. And I never need to exclude realtors. It doesn't even matter. You know what I mean? It doesn't even matter. Yeah. But then I also make sure I turn off the notifications so they're, so they're you know, their phone's not blowing up. Um, and, 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 and then, and then, yeah, man. And then just through the email automation, they're getting that email in a couple of weeks. Hey, Stacy, just wanted to follow up. We had a great freaking run on step one and step two. Step three is next. It's time to start running local ads to start capturing leads. Let me know when you're available. Click the link below. It'll take you straight to my calendar where you can schedule your best time. I cannot wait to speak to you. And then through my email autoresponder, I have emails already set up where the next email would go out, for example, and it'll be a, it'll be a video of me walking them through what step three looks like. Hey, John, just wanted to follow up. Um, our pages are now optimized. Our, our likes are now at, you know, a, a few thousand. So now we're looking good. Here's what I meant by step three. Here's what I want to start doing for you. You see this Facebook ad. And so it's me in video, which is like a 10 minute video, walking right. them through, showing them what other agents are doing, showing them what they're not doing, right? I'm using results. I'm showing them different campaigns that I got going on. I'm saying, Hey man, here's where we need to have you. Mm -hmm. and, and, and so click the link below. It'll take you straight to my calendar where you can book your call. I can't wait to talk to you, John. This is the next step. And so I'll take them through a handful of emails like that, man. And that's all email automation that, that are, that are, that's breaking down step three, so breaking down. Okay, John, here's how we're going to take over your local area, Facebook ads, blah, blah, blah. And then, and then a couple of days later, another email goes out. Hey, John, just wanted to follow up. Here's what I meant by step four. And I'm literally taking them, bro, through screen share like this, showing them a landing page, showing them a Karcher account, showing them, hey, showing them ads on Facebook in the newsfeed. Say, hey, John, when people click learn more, here's where people are taking them. This is right. how you capture lead. This is why this landing page software is so freaking important. Click the link below. It will allow you to set up a 14-day trial. Once you do that, let me know because I have a ton of funnels that I'm going to import to your account. And, and that's all email automation, bro. And in and, and the next email, a couple, a couple of days later, another email goes out. Hey, John, just wanted to follow up. Here's step five. As these, as these Facebook ads go out and, we st and people start to click learn more and they go to our landing page and they opt in and we now have a name and email, that name and email is now going to get nurtured through this email automation. Here's what Kartra and here's what I meant by Kartra. Here's how this entire software makes so much sense. Click the link below, set up a 14-day trial. I'll chat with you soon. Those are all emails, bro, that, that need to be going out to your clients. And, 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 and whether you're offering like me, in my case, I'm trying to get everyone and their mother on Kartra. So, so that's one of my call to actions. Another call to action would be, hey, man, click the link and schedule a call. I need to get you back on the phone. We need to talk about local advertising. We need to talk about the next step, right? right. So that's kind, of, that's kind of my whole two cents, man. I hope that wasn't too much. Oh no, you're good, man. That was amazing. I got a, I got a, another question for you. Mm -hmm. So when I'm, when I'm pretty much like onboarding a, a client for like step one and two. Do you typically run it in their ad account or do you run it in your ad account? Very good question, mine. And and okay. I tell them because it's already all set up. I already got all the optimization. I already got the images. Facebook provides all the, and I use Facebook's images, by the way. So I'll go in as I go to the third step, the ad, the campaign level or the, the ad, you know, the, the, the actual, um, whether the image or the video, as you're going mm -hmm. to step three of finalizing the ad, that's where you write the text, your call to action button or whatever. And, and then the, 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 the post in there, I go stock images. So I'll put ad image and I'll go stock stock. And then I'll, I'll type in a keyword and I'll use Facebook image. So in my case, I'll put luxury right. homes. And so in luxury homes, a ton of images pull up, beautiful mansion looking type of houses, right? That's what I'm running ads on. But, but I'm telling them that I have all this stuff already set in my account. So, and because this is a one-time ad, I have everything ready to go on my end. So all I'm going to do, John, is I'm going to request access to your business page. I don't need access to your ad account. I just need access to your business page so I can run the ad 
um, from your page, but from my end. Okay, cool. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to email you what I need to be able to add myself. I'm going to just log in real quick, add myself to the page, run this ad, and we're good. And once we're done with the ad, John, again, you're going to get an email in a couple of weeks. I want to start strategizing and really start capturing leads. This is a like ad. It's a one-time ad. So just make sure you check for my emails in the next couple of days. But if we don't go on a step three, and I, even, I tell them all this on the first call, man. So I'm, I'm setting mm -hmm. their expectations. I'm telling them what to expect. And then I also tell them, I say, hey, man, if we don't even reach step three, because not everyone does, and I, I do the whole fear of loss, I take it away from them as well. I say, John, I'm going to keep it real. Not everyone gets to step three, man. Num two reasons. Number one, not everyone has the budget. And number two, 99% of people fear the camera. What I want to do, John, yeah. is I want to have a video marketing campaign. I want to brand you as if you were running for mayor. And, 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 and your pretty picture is only going to do so much. We need to get video going. And so not everyone is even video ready. So that's why a lot of people don't make it to step three. But I, that's where I want to go with you. That's where I want to go with you. And that's when... I'll need to access your ad account. And that's when I'll be running everything from your side. But right now it's a one-time like ad. I have everything already set. So I just run it from my end. Right. And that's why, that's what I tell them. So, and they're like, okay, cool. No big deal. And then, and then through my email automation, because I end up opting in them to a page through Kartra, I just have a random page set up and then they opt in. Like, here's what I do. I send them this. I'm giving you everything, Jay. I'm giving you everything, bro. Hope you, hope you know. When I onboard them, I'll email them this link. Now, this is a, a, a Karcher page that I have um, being pixeled. So my Facebook pixel is tracking that IP, right? So I email right. it to the client. They open it up on their end. My pixel is tracking that. Then they come over here. They watch a video. This is a simple introduction. Hey, this is David. Just wanted to, because when I'm on a presentation, I don't use webcam. I noticed you did. I saw that, that video you did. You crushed it, bro. Talking to that, 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 that agent. Yeah. You're on video. That's super cool. For some reason, I, 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 I'm not, and I never was. From day one, I would just go voice. It's weird. It's very, very weird. I'm super comfortable doing video on YouTube, or even <laughs> right now as I'm strategizing with you. Right. But when I'm talking to an actual client or a potential client, I let my voice do it all. Very, very weird. I don't know it. But, but this is just a video that I, so once I onboard them, I already took the credit card, payment processed, everything. Now I'm onboarding them. So I'll come into my regular, <coughs> my regular Gmail and I'll email them from there. And I'll email them this link. They click on it. They open it up. It's a video of me walking them through. It's an onboarding video. Hey, thank you so much. Thank you for investing in your business. From this point on, here's what I want you to expect. And, and through the video, I'm telling them about the emails coming up. I'm telling them about training videos coming up on step three, four, and five. I'm telling them all this in this 10-minute video. Mm -hmm. um, and, 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 then, and then also, so here's what happens. They watch the video. I have them customizing their links now. I used to do it. Now I'm just teaching them how to do it. Yeah. And then I'm telling them, click button below, then check your email for info needed. So once they click here, and they opt in, my email autoresponder shoots out the onboarding email. In that onboarding email is the login. It used to be the login for all their social media platforms because I would mm -hmm. need to log into all of them so I can optimize them. But now I'm just asking for their login to their Facebook. Because again, now for four years, bro, I would do that manual work on customizing their IG, yeah. their Pinterest, their Twitter, their LinkedIn, their domain. I'd go, go to GoDaddy and get the damn domain. After a few, you're doing three to four of those a week, it becomes freaking time consuming. It's like, dude, yeah. I can have a 10 year old do that shit for me. <laughs> you know what I mean? But, but it was just was... me doing it. And I'm like, dude, no, this is so easy, but it's time consuming. I said, let me just teach. Because at the same time, business owners, they don't even know how to do that, bro. So again, as simple as that is to us, it's not to most business owners. No matter if it's a real estate agent or, or not. It's like it, it, the average restaurant owner has no idea about any of that, right? Like, yeah. so, so again, I just knew that that was value because once I show the results and that's what I would do, I use screen share so I can show them another agent, say, hey man, here's what I did for them. Look at their page. Does that not look better? Look at their like count. You're at 179. They're at freaking 1900. Does that not look a little better? Like different perception, mm -hmm. right? So I'm showing them the results. Um, 
and then and then and then and then and then I'm onboarding them, man. But my point is, when this one goes out, that's when they get that first email, and and that's just kind of walking them through what to expect. But that was like a long answer to your short question. But um, it's it's only when we go on a step three, and and now they're bringing me on as with a monthly retainer. Now we're at a thousand a month, fifteen hundred a month. And, and now they're an actual monthly client. That's when I'll start running ads from their ad account, which all you got to do is get, is, is get access to their ad account and you can run everything from your end, but from their ad account and their credit card gets charged on their ad account. You know what I mean? Yeah. So did that kind of answer it? Yeah, that answered it. Yeah. I had, I think I got like one more question. <laughs> if that's cool. Shoot, bro. Shoot. What? Yes, man. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so I'm kind of new to Facebook ads, and I, to be honest, I actually worked at a Facebook ad agency mm-hmm. before I got on at the my, um, remote job. Mm-hmm. But I was like the only I was hired in as just the Google guy, so I didn't really get to dabble in the Facebook ads like I wanted to. But um, when you're running like the video ad, you do the intro, and then let's say the next week they want to run. Um, an educational video on like what's the process of buying and selling a home each each video do you set up the custom audience for the previous video and you pretty much just following everybody down oh man great question yes that that's all that's that's what you do for sure um every video that starts to go out. That's why I tell people, I'm like, dude, you're putting out, vi- and, and this is if they're already putting out video, right? You go to their business mm-hmm. page, you click on videos, you see 15 videos. That right there, right when I see a ton of videos, I'm like, hell yeah, they got it. They got what it takes. And yeah. I don't care how ghetto the video is. It don't matter how low budget, <laughs> it don't matter. It don't matter if you had yeah. a flip phone and you got a dumb phone, but you still, did a, you still did a video. I tell them, I say, man, it don't even matter. The fact that you were actually able to do one, I'm going to give it all to you. Like you deserve all the credit because most people are even afraid of that to get that far. You know what I mean? But, but, but all I tell them is I say, man, the re the difference is that you post that video, you could post on LinkedIn, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, whatever. 95% of your followers live across the country and are not Mm -hmm. moving to your local area. And, And this is what I'm telling the client. I say, this is what all you guys are doing. All of you guys, all you real estate agents, all of you restaurant owners, whatever. All you local business owners, you're spraying content on social media thinking that those are thousands of people who live in your local area when they're not. So, the, so, the, so I tell them, I say, John, the 200 views that you got, yeah, you got 600 likes on your business page, but guess what? Facebook's only showing it to 1% of those people and 99% of those people live across the country because you're clicking invite and you're just inviting a bunch of random people that don't even know you, don't even live in, live in a local area. So you post these videos, you get 200 views of a bunch of randoms. I say, John, the reason why you have to start running this as video video ads is so you could take the 200 views to 2,200 of people who viewed it in your local area. And those are people that become familiar with your brand. And so the power of being able to, to, to now just simply allocate a few, a few right. dollars to run it as an ad Now these 2,200 people are solid. They live in that local area. But the powerful thing is the fact that Facebook is going to allow you to start putting those people in a bucket. And Facebook calls it a custom audience. So yeah, so everyone who watches this first video, that's why the intro video is so powerful. Because if you can get thousands of people to watch that intro video, then again, we create a custom audience around that group and Mm -hmm. and, and then retarget them with video ad number two. And then you do it again. Do like do the it 10% again. Or... And do it again. And do it again. It's up to you. I mean, 10%, 20%, 50%. Sometimes it depends on how long the video is. Um, if it's a, if it's a five minute video, someone that sat there and watched 20% of it is a good amount of people, right? If it's a five minute video or even a seven minute video, someone watched 15% of it, like that's still a good amount of people. So it right. just depends on 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 the length of the video. But, but, but I would, I would shoot for, for sure, for sure. Probably, I would probably, I would probably go 50%, 50% and up yeah. 50% and up because that, those are people that really sat there. If it was a three minute video and someone watched a minute and 50 seconds, you know what I mean? That's a long time. But even again, even if you went lower, even someone that did 30%, that's still for someone to sit there and watch one minute, like that's still a lot, a lot of time. 
you know what I mean? Like, so you could test that, yeah. but that's a strategy that, that is the, the gold is the fact that you can retarget. So now John, because we spent 25 bucks and got a couple thousand people to view it who all live in your local area. Now we can just create these audiences of them and just keep showing them more ads. Right. And so I couldn't do that with your video prior because it was just stagnant on your page posted yeah. randomly with, with no real data behind it because no money was put behind it. It was stuck in a little circle. It was stuck. It was stuck with 200 <laughs> views and, 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 and one person click like, right? Because, because probably only one person really saw it because no one cares. Like you're 600 likes. They all live across the country. So, so that's why any, any local business owner, man, like they're just, they're just a few Facebook ads away from cracking it on, on social right. media. And in, in this case, it's a Facebook ad, it's an Instagram ad, and then, and then eventually a YouTube ad. But, but those three platforms and just starting with Facebook alone, man, Facebook alone can feed you like Facebook alone can feed a local business owner. It can. You know what I mean? And, and that's why I clown these agents all the time. I'm like, dude, you're afraid to spend 500 bucks when you're making five grand on the deal. Yeah. Like, really? Um, that 500 bucks can turn you into an instant celebrity. Right? Celebrity. Like, <laughs> dude, and I, and I asked them, I'm like, how else are you going to take over your local area? What else can you do in marketing offline at, at, any, at anywhere near this budget? What can you possibly do, John? Like, what could you, what are you going to do, door knock? Door what knock. are you going to do, pass out flyers? Like, what are you going to do, put your face on a billboard? You're going to put your face on a bus bench so every corner that I turn, John, your face is going to be on the damn bus bench? How much is that going to cost you, John? 15 that's grand? <laughs> Bro, that's 15 grand. Wow. Because you sign long-term contracts. When it comes to a bus bench or a billboard, it ain't one time, bro. Like, they ain't running it for one week. You're signing a long-term contract. You're signing like a 90-day or like a six-month or like a 12 month. I spoke to a real estate agent one time, I swear to God, shout out to, what was her name? She was in Florida. She was in Florida. I think it was, I think it was, um, I think it was, damn, what the hell was her name? But it blew my mind. I never forgot it. She spent 15 grand. She spent 15 grand on a few billboards. And I'm like, okay, that's a lot of money. Like that's a lot of money for your face just to be on a billboard. Like, when you could have just when when it ain't it's like dude it ain't it ain't capturing leads for you unless yeah. it, unless it was and no one was calling her i used to work as a banker bro i was in the mortgage industry and my best friend who owns the company he would put his face on all the bus benches in san diego not one phone call and he ran it for like 3 years cuz wow. he just has he just has money to spend and he don't give a shit he'll spend anything on marketing he just, um, just getting impressions whole, yeah 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 that's all he cared about and it, but, but it didn't, it didn't pull in anything and it, it didn't no. pull anything on, on the top of the funnel. I, there, I think he might've got one phone call like in three years. Dang. So it's like, dude, that's why I'm saying you compare any of that to any business. And it's like, dude, you, this is a mini commercial. Like this is seriously a mini commercial. Everyone is on their Facebook newsfeed. Like you have the opportunity to pull out your cell phone and, and spill your message and possibly get it in front of thousands of people who are actually in your local market. Like, come on, dude, seriously. But you rather take that video and post it on LinkedIn where your 700 connections don't even give a shit. Right. They're not even in your area. They don't even know you. Like they live across the country. Like really, you know what I mean? So, yeah. so that, 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 that allows me to pitch any business man on, on just Facebook ads alone. And then, and then taking that content and parking it on YouTube. Like that's, that's another passion of mine that, that just kind of surfaced over the last yeah. few months as I started seeing this little YouTube money, yeah. AdSense uh, money, you know? Because I've seen some of your other calls and people reference uh, Sonny Linda Doozy. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And like I actually, I actually got a course as well, but I just, I feel like now is the time that I can utilize that, that knowledge from her. Yeah, man. And start. like like you said, that, that 10 minute video, like just the, the strategy call video that I've posted it got like an hour's worth of watch time dude jay i'm telling you man whatever you're doing bro that's what that that's one way to make it easy that's one way to keep it easy is simply documenting what you're already doing and mm -hmm. in this particular mm -hmm. case it has to do with online entrepreneurship it has to do with online marketing it has to do with google ads specifically if you literally started documenting what you're doing 
you could turn a whole channel. You can, you can, you can create a whole channel around that alone. Yeah. And, and that's why what you got started right now with your social media strategy calls and documenting that, that's what I'm talking about. Three a week, bro. Start putting up, <clears throat> start putting up three videos per week. And yes, it's time consuming. The thumbnail, the description, the, the keyword research, but you know, all that shit. That's what I need yeah. help with. I need help with that keyword research. <laughs> You know, we can set up a strategy call. I'll yeah, we'll set up a call for that because because if you know all that stuff, how can you not blow up a YouTube channel? Yeah, did you like this is a this is a quick ninja tip. If you want to get like what was it four thousand hours of watch time like real quick, let's just say like two days or maybe like a week. Mm -hmm. You could like go to Upwork and find somebody overseas. Let's say the Philippines, like someone at like their currency is way cheaper than ours. Mm -hmm. And you send them, let's say, two hundred dollars and you run let's say you run this um requirements for generation lease as a just a random, just a regular ad. As, as an ad? Yeah. So at the at the cost of their currency versus ours, you would definitely get four thousand hours of watch time. Just run the ad from there at their currency rate wow bro that is a major major hack that is a major hack dude i don't then, i've never heard that ever jay that yeah, right there was worth the cost of admission that right there dude <laughs> that right there but the whole thing right is there, you you have to put in the work to get the thousand subscribers <laughs> right 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 the content has to be there right all that has to be there but that's a it's like, damn, but if you look at that from any type of angle, running any type of Facebook ad, why wouldn't you just delegate it to somebody out there? Yeah. You know, bring on some monthly clients, have a little profit margin, and have some dude in the Philippines run the damn ad. Mm -hmm. I wonder what that I wonder what that like ad would cost over there. But then at the same time, I gotta break them off. You know, I gotta break them off. But so, the the cost of I feel like when I've hired like somebody from the Philippines, like a, a VA or something, <laughs> this, is, this is sad, but I don't say it's sad, but it's like they're the comfortable rate that they're at is like $2 an hour. And they're like, that's that'll feed their family. Wow, man. Wow. So you can get a full blown VA to do the, let's just say you, you hire a VA for $2 an hour. They'll be happy to do all the, Keyword research, all the thumbnail making for you for that bad price. Wow, that is major, man. Just on YouTube, just on YouTube alone. Just on YouTube alone. Bro, that would free up that would free up some time. That would free up some time for sure. See little, yeah. little things like that, man. That's what these calls are all about, Jay. That's what these calls are all about. about. That's powerful, dude. That's powerful. Man, man. So, so then, what are your plans then? What do you, what do you, what, what's the next step for Jay? What are you trying to do then? What's your next step? What's the next client? What's that next next package look like? Like, what are you trying to do? Uh, I've been trying to build out like a a little agency or just build out a ton of clients as far as freelancing, just to boost up my income. I mean, I'm making a lot more than what people usually make just mm -hmm. about being at home and doing google ads but i want to be able to plan trips for my family and do this and do that with just side income jay you know what i would i would also start start thinking and and start um shit to tell you the truth i'd start i'd start that right now if i are you because you have the knowledge on on google ads and 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 that whole freaking monster why and, and 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 your whole your whole approach is you're thinking approaching real estate agents for example right putting together a simple video course teaching them how to do that themselves and selling that course for ninety seven dollars and yeah. running ads to that offer and getting people to purchase that through Facebook ads and through your own Google ads putting yourself at the top. And driving it to a simple 20 minute webinar, a 20 minute presentation showing screen share, showing the results of what mm -hmm. this was able to do for another agent and, and sticking, literally sticking on Google. If you just took all that knowledge and said, okay, shit, I'm going to now educate this type of a person, this type of a business owner, that alone is a product line.
that alone is a product life. In the meantime, yeah. you're, you're mastering Facebook ads and you're master, mastering on how to even get more clients. But right now, just a, a, I think that income would be more consistent. And I think that, more, that, in, that income could be even more than yeah. trying to work. spin your wheels, trying to work and trying to get clients. Yeah. Because getting clients is a never ending thing. And that's why I told you if, you, if you just take your results, document that, create a video, run the ad, and, and, and schedule appointments off of that video ad, mm -hmm. that's how you need to do it, no matter what, because it, everything else is going to take up your time. So if you want to be traveling with your family and enjoying that, that good life, you don't want to physically have to do anything. So physically having to get appointments, physically have, having to do done for you services for clients because I'm a freelancer, that's all done for you physical effort, even though I can delegate yeah. it. Yeah, we can for sure delegate it to someone in the, in the, in the, in the, in the, in the PI, for example, but at the same time, you're still, it still requires a lot of your time. Right. That's why I'm so stuck on, on digital courses, man, being able to package my knowledge and package it all up in, in video form and sell it. So, you have so much knowledge with your Google, with your Google, Google ads. If you tailored that around a real estate agent and said, Hey man, here's a few results from other clients that I was able to get at the top. Here is everything that, that needs to happen. And this training course, I walk you through how to make it all happen for yourself. And currently I sell it at $297, but I'm offering you a one-time $97 to get access to all seven videos, which are going to walk you through each step individually. Click here to buy now. Right. Putting that into an offer, and all that's through Kartra, that entire operation is ran through Kartra. That right there is what is what i'm fired up about man that's where i'm taking my 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 agency i don't want to keep doing this i don't want monthly clients bro like that once you get to five you're pulling your hair out yeah like like that's, that's some, some unless you like that if you like that hustle i mean i had an office before with 50 people in it like if you like mm -hmm. that hustle okay cool you want to build something like that okay cool just be ready for the circus that's all as long as as long oh, yeah. as you can be as long as you can handle the circus because now having to manage all that, that's not easy, right? Or if, if, our, if our ultimate dream is to travel with our family, right? right. If, if that's the ultimate dream, I can't be working full-time and then working a full-time business because it takes all my physical time. I got to learn how to leverage this stuff out. Yeah. And that's what Might digital well courses allows you to do. Give the, give the knowledge away. and Give, give the knowledge, it. bro. Give the knowledge. That's why on my YouTube channel, I, I started keeping it even realer than real. I'm like, dude, I'm going to give out more shit. That's why you started seeing these strategy calls with the whole damn pitch. I wasn't, right. bro, I've been pitching that since 2016. I started this YouTube channel in 2017. I could have done put, put those up. But, but I didn't because I'm like, damn, hell no. I ain't going to give out all of my shit. I ain't going to tell everyone all, everything I'm doing for the damn client. Yeah. You know what I mean? But then I started. Nobody, thinking, nobody has on. the time to do it. But, but, but exactly. Because I was like, damn, if I can eventually get monetized on this, this is, I was looking at the income side of it all. Keep it real. I'm like, dude, if, if I can eventually attract a lot of people and eventually become monetized and YouTube can start paying me for this type of content, that's what got me even more fired up. You know? And, and so. Yeah, man. It's just, it's, it's you, digital courses is where you, is, is where you want, want, what you want to be thinking, man. You have, yeah. you have this knowledge, package it all up, put it in a few videos and sell it to that audience. Gotcha. And, 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 and even at a low ticket, even at a low ticket, someone like you part-time trying to start a, a second income, trying to get a second hustle going because you want to spend more time with your family. Like we all do. That's why I have to scale a course because with a course I can get good at ads you can get good at Google. Like you at the top of, of page one on Google, bro. And people are typing in how to advertise, how a real estate agent advertises social media marketing for real estate agents. And they're seeing your link at the top. They're clicking on it. It takes them to one landing page where there's a presentation. They're registering for a quick 25 minute webinar of Jay talking about how the, how he got real estate agents at the top of Google and all this shit. And then the buy button buy now $97 Bro, you start selling four or five, six of those, six of those a day on autopilot without you waking up. That's yeah. what it's about. Yeah. It, it ain't about me getting you as a client and letting me do this for you. 500 bucks. It, that's too much time. It's like shit, yeah. man. Like that's a lot of time for just a few hundred bucks. I need to sell these things autom automatically, while, whether I'm sleeping or at, 
or, or butt naked at, on, on some private island. Right. <laughs> I want to be butt naked with my wife on some private island. I don't want to be talking to freaking no damn client. Like, no. Yeah. You know what I mean? This is 2020. This is internet. This is social media marketing. The people that are crushing it are crushing it whether they're awake or not. And those are not by done for you services. Now we all start here. We all start here, done for you, freelancer. Let me get some clients. Let me do some deals. Right? We yeah. start there. But I'm, you're, you're, you're now you're now talking to someone that's already you know three three and a half years into the damn thing, mm -hmm. and, and and I'm like, dude, we need to package it up. Let me just sell you my knowledge. Let me sell you my knowledge. Let me sell you what I know, and it's gonna be so damn good. You're not gonna regret investing. You know what I mean? And so that's what this whole course business is, man. People are investing, you know, $97 to buy knowledge. People are investing $497 to buy knowledge. $997. I just dropped five grand, bro, on some knowledge. Like, wow. it's like, yeah, bro, like, no joke. Like, more than I've ever spent on any course or anything like that. This was an actual course, right? Like, which course was it? It was uh, Dan Henry's. It sold out courses. It's, um, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I, I, I jumped into that one before he raised his price because that's someone I've been following for the past year, you know, because, uh -huh. because I wanted to start learning how to scale this course. And when you find someone that's successful, you freaking follow them, you know, and, and you uh -huh. invest, you invest in their shit. If they're really, you know, legit and really, really, you know, bringing that value. And, and I truly believe he, he is, and he was, and he continues. So those are the people you invest in, you know what I mean? Right. And, and, and you have to do that. You want to do that. And I'm like, dude, I can learn this shit the hard way, or I can just follow someone who has already done it. And just copy what they've done, and 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 if they want to sell me that knowledge, okay, shit, I'll invest. In it. <laughs> funnel hack. I'll funnel hack it. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, but then, but but just funnel hacking alone can only only get you so far, yeah. right? You have to see their back end. You well. have to see their back end. You have to see what the hell they're they're coaching and teaching and and all that, yeah. man. And so that was my big investment this year so far on my education on on taking my business to the next level, man. Cause it ain't easy. It ain't going to be cheap. And so that's why it's good. You have a full-time job. I always salute people who have a full-time income, at least some type of steady paycheck, no matter if it's a lot or little, don't even matter. If yeah. you get some grocery money and, and, that, and that's your gas money or whatever, you know what I mean? Feed your little baby or whatever, then, 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 then that's important. That's important. I, I speak to so many people where they just want to quit their job and go, go full-time trying to build something. I'm like, no, no. Like, you don't want to do that. Like, you need money to fund your damn business yeah. anyways you put need some, to put some money aside <laughs> right you, you need to man so so that, that's what i would be thinking with you too man is, is is that google knowledge why don't you teach it why don't you let me be the guinea pig why don't you why don't you put together a handful of videos since i'm interested put together a handful of videos walking me through some shit and see if i can learn from that i'll be your beta it's what it's what i'm learning in my sold out courses course the beta, the beta, the beta course, the beta think. course part. We're just here to see if the market mm -hmm. even can benefit from it. And that's where that last video that I put out regarding the survey, how to yeah. survey your audience. That's where I got it from. It's the survey. There. Yeah. It's the survey. And so let me be your guinea pig. I'll be your beta, beta student. Put, put together a handful of videos walking me through how to get me on page mm -hmm. one or, or, or walking me through how to set up a Google ad. That right there, bro, I'm telling you, and you tailor it towards a niche, people will buy that for $97 and you'll be selling five, six, seven of them per day while you're sleeping. Wow. That's where we want to be. I want to be at five, 600 a day without me waking up. Wow. And, and again, it's through a course. And that's why you got these other options, Shopify, Amazon. I could drop ship this. I could drop ship that. I can, yeah. I can have a random e-commerce website because you're good at Google ads. Let's park it at, at, on, at the top of page one. You could sell a physical product online, but it's like shit. Yeah. That, a lot of that takes too much of my time and money. And there's a lot of moving components when it comes to e-commerce and physical products. Yeah, right? I've done e-commerce before. And it was, of course. It was, it's not easy. It was, right? it was for the, the agency client, but yeah. Yeah, yeah. There's a, there's a lot to, to that back end of trying to sell something online like that. But, but at the same time, and that, that's why I'm like, I'm like knowledge, man, digital knowledge, digital courses, like people want to know what the hell, you know, and, and, right. and that's why the time is now the time is now where this shit is possible. It's like shit five years ago, 10 years ago, I'd have to go read a book. <laughs> now you're telling me right. I could just invest in a, in a video course from someone who actually already did it mm -hmm. like shit. What's that worth? Like it, it'll cost me more not to get it. 
Yeah. You know what I mean? Not to at least hack their brain. That's what I'm doing. I'm paying, I'm paying that much to hack someone's brain. Yeah. And, and, and let them teach me something that I didn't already know myself. And then I take that and I go deliver it to my market. You know what I mean? And, mm -hmm. and so with your knowledge, bro, I'm telling you, put together a handful of videos. Let me, let me, let me see if I can learn from them. Mm -hmm. Short videos, bro. Few minute long videos, nothing, just basics. How do I set my shit up? Take someone from beginning to, to end, but do it in a very elementary type of way. Step one, here's what we're going to do. Step two, here's what we're going to do. Turn them into modules. Right. Like, like I'm telling you, man, like, like my, I'm putting together, I'm finalizing this, this module course over here, but this is what it would look like. For example, like this is, um, this is one that I'm finalizing right now, but this is just actually, let me see if this is the actual, actually, no, that's not the, that's not the one. Let me, um, yeah, I'm definitely put those videos together for you. It's over here. Dude, I'm telling you like this, but I'm going to show you the format and then, and then that's all I kind of got for you. But here's this right here. Login link. Okay. So if I log in like this, man, simple, simple back end. And all this is on Kartra. So I have basic modules. Module one, here's a few videos. Module two, here's how, to, and it's all me on screen share, teaching them how to do everything. And you can apply this to anything. That's why, that's why, again, on my channel, I first started talking in like 2018, 2019 about digital courses because i'm like i'm truly believe i'm truly convinced that all of us know something you know oh, something yeah. jay like you know google shit you know something and if you were to put that in video form and put it put it into some type of course like this where i can actually purchase it like shit people will buy that and and, and if i can and, and 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 i'm telling you man once you really put some good shit like this is all me on screen share i'm not on video i'm just it's just voice and screen share Hey you guys, welcome to the bonus module. In this first video, I want to kind of just go up, go uh, over the setup and kind of just just refresh our memory here because I know by now we should have ran the like ad. Yeah. By now we should have ran our intro video ad. You know what I mean? So it's like, dude, if you if you put together something like this on Google and pitched it in a way where you're building a YouTube channel, that's 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 most important as well because that's where a lot of your credibility and social proof and people are going to start following you and people are going to start knowing that you're the real deal and, and you don't yeah. got to be the smartest person at all at all at all wherever you're at with your knowledge you're going to mm -hmm. start finding people that start following you that are just a couple steps behind you and it don't matter where that where you're at on that on that knowledge scale on a scale of one to ten with knowledge you don't even have to be a ten even if you were just a five, you're going to start following, building a following on any platform. You'll start building a following of people who are one, two, and threes. And they're following you because they feel they can relate to you and you're teaching them some shit that they're interested in, but they're just not quite there yet. Right? And you're only a five and you're only a five. So, yeah. so a lot of people think that they got to be a guru and be the smartest person to teach anyone anything. No, you don't. Yeah. Like you got professors at Harvard and then you got, you got, you got professors at, the local community college. They're both teaching. Yeah. <laughs> They're both different in sophistication. I get it. They're both different IQ. I get it. But who's to say, or, or what, how, how would you even say the person, the, the professor at the community college is not bringing value? Yes, they are. Yeah. Like for sure. They're teaching a class of people that are a few steps behind them. For sure. Right? So it's like, dude, whatever knowledge you have, bro, I'm convinced that, that you got to package it up. You got to package it up. And, 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 and that's what I'm saying. Once you put, once you even add more stuff, cause I added so much stuff. I got so much, so much knowledge in this course. Once you start adding other little more, more pieces to it, right. That justifies 497. That justifies 997. Yeah. yeah. And you know the what I mean? Is it's it's it like, it's it. like, it's like, damn, dude, if I put together a course and I was charging 997, I tell my wife, I'm like, we're, we're almost there. Cause I'm <laughs> like, can you imagine selling four or five, six of those per day while we're butt naked on some private Island? You know what I mean? Like, right. that's what it's about. The 997 like, I want to, I want to start crushing that man and start, because again, I, I, tr I truly believe it's, it's, it's the value is there. And, and again, it doesn't matter what the hell you're teaching. You can be teaching how to bake cookies, bro. And I don't know yeah. how to bake cookies. So shit, price it right. Give me some good ingredients. Give me some good strategy yeah. and I'll freaking buy that for $47 right now. I've actually seen somebody do that. Of course. 
in any industry, bro, in every industry, health, wealth, um, um, just finances in general, online entrepreneurship, business, all these major categories, yeah. beauty, health, wealth, and uh, relationships. Like, there's, sell, there, there, there's, there's knowledge being sold in, in, in those major industries. And so with you, I'm telling you, man, I keep referring back to Google because what you do full time. I'm like, shit, bro, put, it, put together a few videos, man. Put together a few videos. Teach me how to do it through video. That way we don't have to set up these strategy calls because this, shit, this mm. is time consuming as well right? right. Put together some videos. Teach me that way and see if I can learn it from it. And if I can learn from that, Jay, I'm telling you, bro, it'll be worth it to do it for me. If I can learn from that, that beta course would crush it. Would crush it. Would crush it. Teach me some basics on Google ads. What's the most important, what I got to do myself without having to hire someone to do it for me. What can I do myself that, that would really benefit my business? Put that in four, five, six, seven videos, three, four, five minute long videos, 10 minute video if, if needed. You know what I mean? But some videos are even longer. I got some videos on here that are, that are, that are, that are longer too, like an hour long type of, type of videos. So depend on, you know, the, whatever you're teaching or whatever, you know, make it happen. But I, I truly believe that could be a success. That could be something powerful for you, man. I, I truly believe that. Definitely, man. I appreciate that. Cool. I'm, I'm willing to put in the work. Get yeah, the man. Thing, man. Yeah, man. So get at me anytime, man. Get at me anytime. Let's stay in touch and 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 keep mm -hmm. me posted on on all your success, man. Okay. Cool. Anything else, Jay? Uh, no, nah, not really. Shoot me. Comment on any of the videos. Shoot me an email, whatever, man. If you need anything, just just get at your boy. I got you. All right, Jay. Hey, hey, David. Yes, sir. Off the record, like you can edit this out the video, but um, you talk about uh Dan Henry's courses and all those. How have you ever heard of a course server? A course server, yeah, no. So, in my last agency, they had a course server, and it was pretty much like all courses you could think of, but you can you just have to download them. And then you can watch them, you know. So like when you mentioned Dan Henry's uh, sold out course, I've actually watched it, but I never watched the entire thing. So, so you got it from like a hacker or you got it from like, yeah, yeah, man, that that's what's super popular as well. Is that's that's the piracy and that whole hacking mm -hmm. of someone's courses. Like I'll have some people that literally have that in their Instagram username. <laughs> And then they'll request yeah. me and they'll start following me. I'm like, dude, how stupid do you got to be? Like, yeah. because, because they look at me as, as a brand or whatever, or trying to build mm -hmm. a course, or maybe, they, I don't know, they found me on YouTube or whatever, but yeah, dude, I, I, I do know, I do know of that. And that dude, there's smart people all over the planet, bro. Like sometimes you probably can't protect yourself from every, everything, mm -hmm. you know? So that's one thing that you probably have to have to probably worry about if you were that crazy popular. You know what I mean? Yeah. If you were that crazy popular. If people but, just buy your course and then it, record the whole thing. And yeah. Then yeah. But see, sell it. For, for someone to go that far too, man, you got to be shady as hell. And you got to be willing to really freaking willing to break the law. Like shit, because yeah. that's all copyright and freaking infringement. That's all like mm -hmm. freaking bad shit. So if you're that type of person, man, God bless you, bro. Like God bless you. Like, that can only last for so long, um, for sure. But at the same time, that's not something that I truly believe. I'm not even at that level. Even a Dan Henry, yeah, he, he's probably at that level. But at that level, even when you got haters on your back, you're yeah. still in, you're still you're still you're still clocking eight figures. So it's like shit. What does it even really matter at that point? Yeah, you know what I mean. So if, if these little hackers or these little haters want to try to freaking steal shit. Let me get mine. Let me get mine. And then I guess I'll feed you my crumbs, yeah. bro. If, you, if you're really that shady and you can't yeah. go think about, why don't you create a course for all you hackers out there? Why don't you create a course on how you do it and sell that and be legit? You know what I mean? Like shit, teach me how to hack. Why don't you teach me how to hack? You know what I mean? Teach I'll buy, I'll buy it off of you. Create a course, man. <laughs> freaking become legit, man. Shit. Stop freaking piggybacking off of everybody else's, you know, freaking sweat equity. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? But at the same time, bro, you got to worry about shit in everything, Jay. Like in everything, dude. All forms of business. There's always some type of shit to worry about. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, 
So even, you know what scares me even more than that is disputes, right. is disputes. The fact that a client can go to their credit card company months later, months later, and file a dispute and that merchant account has, has, has every right to take that money out of your account. Yeah. Like know. that's what's whack as well. Like that, that scares me more than anything else. Yeah. I had a friend that happened to a while back before I uh, relocated back home. He was working, he was working with some guy overseas mm -hmm. and uh, he was like shipping puppies <laughs> And uh, he was doing it. He was pretty much running traffic to his puppy website through Bing or whatever. Mm -hmm. And for some reason, he wasn't shipping or uh, delivering the puppies to these customers. And uh, all this was getting ran through his account. And so once the project was all said and done, these people that didn't receive it, they just hit the did not receive button and $5,000 jumped out of his account. Man, see, bro, and and I even talked to Stripe. And I'm like, dude, like, cause that 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 like happened, like literally. I'll keep it real. I'll keep it real. That has happened three times to me in four years. Processing wow. hundreds of clients, bro, hundreds since since 2016, and that that's happened three times. And and so yeah, man, it, I just think it's whack. I think it's whack. But, but at the same time, you got to be, you got to be on your shit too, right? You got to be delivering, you got to be delivering. But the fact is that people are shady. And if they, if they, I'm talking about people that can do that months later and, and, and there's nothing you can do. It's like, what the hell? That's weird. So I could sell all this shit online and people can just dispute through their credit card and mm -hmm. I'm asked out. Like, right? That's like that's most, the most close, um, course owners or People that make those digital courses, they just say a guarantee, hundred dollars, a hundred percent money back guarantee, just to get the, the tire kickers out the way. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And and even when I when I actually um, invested into Dan's, right when I purchased it, I had a he he emailed me a contract right away that I had to that I had to obviously sign stating that there's no refunds. So he made that, and, and I learned from that. I'm like, dude, that's a hack. Like, that is what I'm going to for sure implement into my shit so I can have this legal binding contract that you signed, that you actually docu signed, stating that you're fine with that. You know what I mean? No refunds. So right. that type of stuff, man, to, to protect yourself on that end, yeah. And then, and then hackers, yeah, man, that's a whole other thing too. But again, yeah. dude, a digital course, the hacker is going to get to a handful of people. You might, you might be that one person that purchased it off of some hacker for 50 bucks. Okay, cool. But there's not a large market for that. Like not everyone's willing to just buy shady shit. I ain't buying no shady shit. Right. <laughs> so if you hit me up and said, David, and, and I swear to God, I got a, I got an email like this just like about a couple months ago. True story, man. True, true story. Where a, a, someone on YouTube just emailed me and said, David, I have access to these courses. I can for sure just give you access. I didn't even reply to that. I didn't even reply. So it's like, dude, for you to be like promoting that or being the hacker, it's like, damn, dude, you gotta be, you gotta be whack. Like you gotta be super freaking depressed and shit, you know, to even want to do that type yeah. of shady shit. You know what I mean? Like trying to sell everybody's stuff all for it. It's like not even worth it, it dude. Yeah, dude. And it's like, I'm telling you, even the real legitimate ones, like I'm a real legitimate one. I don't want to buy a shady shit. If I really am going to invest in someone, I'm, I'm, I'm investing in them because I really like what the hell they're teaching and I, and I, and I feel I can learn some shit. Right. And I'll invest in them, right? Like not on the black market type of shit. You know what I mean? <laughs> so I, I don't even think there's a big market for that, dude. So God bless them all, man. Right. God bless them all. But get at me anytime, Jay. Get at me anytime, man. Let's stay in touch for sure, bro. Definitely, man. Uh, I'll hey, definitely make these videos and, and shoot them your way. Bro, I'm telling you, you're going to turn that into a million dollar business. So you might think that you're <laughs> just giving me some 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 information right now. You know, and you're giving me all your secrets. You might feel that way. I'm telling you, you're not. Oh, like let no, me be I, I that. Know. Let me be that guinea pig, and, and if I can learn how to do step one, two, and three, you're gonna scale that into a business. All right. Definitely. And and I truly believe that that's where I. Tr if you're if you got that kind of game, and you're that knowledgeable in in what you're doing, what shit, I, I would assume you know it. It's it's what you do for a job, right? So it's like, all right. How can you not teach that? 
And, mm-hmm. and I know that that's value. I know that that's value. I know that there's a price tag to that because people like mm-hmm. me don't even know how to do that. Yeah. Cause I wish I could do it for like the car dealerships, but I can't because of the, the contract I signed on my job. Yeah. See, so do it with <laughs> another business. Teach, teach, teach restaurant owners, teach gym owners, mm-hmm. teach real estate agents, tailor it towards a niche, but don't go after everyone. Tailor it towards one niche, right? Mm-hmm. Get those first clients some results and use that as your blueprint. Use that as your social proof. Use that as your right. advertising. Lead and advertise with results. Don't okay. try to advertise by pitching how you can get them results. Show them the damn results now. You know what I mean? Right. And that's going to entice them to want to click learn more to schedule the call with you. And, and at the same time, what I'm also talking about is that's what's going to entice them to click learn more to go to your landing page, to register for your 20 minute webinar, pitching your $97 course. You know what I mean? Like, mm-hmm. like that right there, bro, I'm telling you, seven videos, $97, you sell 10 of them per day through Facebook ads alone. Through Facebook ads and YouTube ads. Facebook ad, YouTube ad, you're selling and driving all traffic to a landing page where they're registering for a webinar and you're selling that course at $97. And you're doing 10 of them a day. I'm definitely going to try that out. I'm telling you, bro. I'm telling you. No, there's nothing really to say no to. <laughs> I'm telling you. that, and, and, and that's what I use Kartra for, man. Profitwithkartra.online. That link is in the description. That's what I use Kartra for, for all of that shit. So if it's not Kartra, I'd have to go and get individual services for all that. To host a course. Yeah. For my calendar hosting, for uh, that's a that's a second service. My third service is a is an email autoresponder. My fourth service is a landing page software. So it's like, dude, those are already four or five softwares. If it, if it's if it's not this one, you know what I mean. Gotcha. Yeah. So so yeah, man, keep it simple, bro, and just get at me. Definitely. Definitely. All right, Jay. Thanks for your time, man. Thank you. Talk to you soon, bro. I'll see you. Later. All right, man. I'll see you, David.